Hi, this is my TA994A, which I'm currently restoring. We're just going to power it up, and we're just going to put it for its paces uh, with uh, a game that we're going to load from tape. And, um, yeah, we'll get to it now. G'day, this is my Texas Instrument TI-994A, and it, I have the extended basic cartridge. I also have a 32K side card, and I'm using my Radio Shack computer data recorder, which is basically just a cassette recorder, and I'm also using a Meanwell external power supply for the 5 volts, the minus 5 and the plus 12, because this was a machine that I bought on eBay, and it uh, didn't include the actual transformer, and even if it did, it would have been for 110 volts. Um, so I've removed the uh, power board from the machine, which I've just put aside, and I'm just using this external supply. And I might even consider just stripping it down and seeing if I can actually fit it inside the case. And I think it will fit. It might be a bit tight, but it looks like it's going to fit. But for now, it's quite okay as an external supply. And for the uh, video and audio, I'm just using a MIDI cable at the moment. Uh, and I'm just using some alligator clips running to the composite and audio in on my Sony monitor. Okay, let's just power this beast up. Okay, and we're going to go into extended basic. So we're going to select number two. And what we're going to do, we're just going to load a small basic loader so we can load some games that are written in assembler okay and this requires extended basic and the 32k side card okay and the command i'm using is old cs1 because i'm using the first cassette player because this machine did support two cassette players okay and okay the loader is quite a small little program it's just written in extended basic and once that's loaded it'll allow the machine to load at a little bit higher speed the actual game that's written in assembler okay you can actually hear the data okay i'm just going to pause it at that point because then i need to run the Program, okay, which starts the loader. Okay, I'll just run that up. Okay, and I think you, if you, yeah, you, know, you know what the game is that we're going to load. We're going to unpause it, and you can hear it's running at a slightly higher frequency. It's running at 1200 board. And there's the 32k. So I cut, there's the meanwhile supply, and there is the Radio Shack uh, cassette player recorder that I'm using to load the tape. Okay, and because I bought this machine uh, on eBay and from the US, it had composite video out, so it was actually quite easy to connect to my composite monitor. Um, even though this monitor, I can actually use RGB that has been modified. So if I do come across a PAL machine, it probably would work without too much of drama. Okay, and it's loading the code from the tape without any errors. Okay, yeah, when I was a youngster back in the very early 80s, I had uh, the later version in the plastic case, and I also had the speech synth, and I had an Australian-made modem, uh, which also had an RS232 port, and 
I used to use that machine with the terminal cartridge to log into Uni's um, Honeywell mainframe and I could actually edit my Fortran and uh, upload code which was actually pretty cool but then at the end of the 80s I actually gave that machine away with the speech synth and the joysticks and the serial modem um, yeah and quite a lot of software on cartridges yeah at that time I never thought I'd really be that interested in using it but now nostalgia's kicked in it's something I'm um, sort of regret but it's still possible to pick these machines up fairly easily and they're not too expensive um this machine i actually paid um 20 dollars for us but the shipping costs yeah were twice as much as the actual machine okay there we go it's loaded so we're just going to press a key okay we're going to do one player Okay, and this is Moon Patrol. Now let's see. Okay. Let's fire and jump. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Oh, go faster. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't jump. <laughs> let's see if I get any further. I'm not very good, and it's also very awkward holding the phone, but as you can see, uh, it is possible to load. Oh, jump, jump. Uh, press jump. Okay. Uh, e is jump. The arrow. Okay. Okay, nothing to shoot at. Oh, I'm too slow. <laughs> My reaction time is terrible. <laughs> I'm going to get a bit further, I think. Let's see if we can accelerate a little bit. Okay. And now it's E. E. Oh, wow, that was very poor. Let's try one more time. Let's see if we get a bit further in Moon Patrol. Okay, enter. Okay, and go. Beginner. Well, I really am a beginner. Let's accelerate. I'm just using the arrow keys. Okay, now remember to press E to jump. Jump. Oh, and accelerate. Oh, she made a jump. Jump. Okay, rock. Jump. Oh, am I going to make it? Oh, fire. Remember to jump. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, oh, get out of there. Oh, jump, jump. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still not great at this game, and it is a bit awkward with one hand. But, oh, wow, that's actually cool. What a great little game. It's actually not a bad version of Moon Patrol. Except I'm a bit slow. Don't know if it would be easier with the joystick. Maybe. Oh, I jumped straight onto the rock. <laughs> okay, well, that was a bit of fun. Uh, and game over. Well, as you can see, it's possible to load a reasonably good little game off tape. And I'm using the 32K sidecut and the extended basic. And it's actually quite a bit of fun. Okay, well, I'm going to get back in and see if I can actually write some code in Extended Basic. I actually wrote a few games back in the very early 80s and yeah I remember it was quite fun playing with the sprites. And this machine, this graphics at the time was quite impressive but it was a bit of a commercial flop. Okay well that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you've got any TI-1904i stories yeah drop a comment. Okay, cheers and thanks for watching.